the Nevada Proving Ground. In the case of nuclear or radiological fallout, people living around potential targets such as military bases and chemical plants may be advised to evacuate. Protection from radioactive fallout will require taking shelter in an underground area or in the middle of a large building. Fallout shelters can be any protected space where the walls and roof are thick and dense enough to absorb radiation. After a radiological or nuclear fallout, you shouldn't leave your shelter until officials say so. As with biological or chemical fallout, having a disaster kit ready will increase your family's chances of survival. hundred atmospheric nuclear tests and over 800 subterranean nuclear tests. This is the most tested upon nuclear site in the entire world. This area is not only important to Nevada local history, it's not only interesting, it's not only secret, it's not only mysterious, but it's also important to the world's history as well. Why is this place so important? Well, I'll tell you. The Nevada National Security Site was home to the very first atomic test on US soil. The region is separated into many different sections, but more notably would be section number five, otherwise known as the Frenchman Flats. On January 27th, 1951, the very first nuclear test was done just over there on US soil on the Frenchman Flats. It's crazy to think about this area being so peaceful now, but at one time there were over a hundred atmospheric tests of a nuclear weapons being done in this exact area. So the atmospheric tests were above ground, but there were over 800 below ground subterranean nuclear tests being done in this exact area. May 15th, 1955, one of the most socially impressive nuclear testings took place just over here named Apple II. Now you're probably thinking, I've never heard of Apple II, but you've probably seen these images. Project that was done here. January of 2019, a man tried to get into the facility by driving through that gate that we just saw. 
This person made it about eight miles up the road towards the facility before they finally pulled over. They were being followed by nine county sheriffs as well as the private security that protects this facility. Reports do show that after this person did pull over, they supposedly got out of their vehicle with what was claimed to be a cylindrical object in their hand. They don't say exactly what this object was but authorities did demand that it was put down. The demand was not met, and evidently this person was shot and killed over here for trying to get into this facility. Since David and Aaron not trying to get shot, because we like, you know, living, we're gonna go ahead and not go past that white line that they show over there. But it is interesting to know that uh, the use of deadly force is not only authorized, but has been proven in very recent history. Okay, so what if you're like, hey, I kind of still do want to visit, but like I'm not so keen on getting shot, right? Good news. You can still register to visit. They actually have monthly tours. You can register on their website, get all their information, and a bus will take you out here. Over there, they will tour you through the facility, tell you all about the history, the safety included. For Apple II and many other projects, there were entire townships built out here in the desert. So that means buildings constructed to test and create variables for different situations. So there were schools, homes, bank vaults, um, at different construction levels, and homes built at different varying levels of upkeep to see what would happen. At a certain point, um, government agencies and world leaders involved decided that best course of action for nuclear research would be to regulate it to being done underground, which means that the last 800 or so of the testing that was done here was done in nuclear bunkers. Beyond the normal, the normal nuclear testing history that's gone on at this facility, this property here behind me we talked about it being separated into areas before. Areas one through, I don't know, maybe 51. Okay, <laughs> so separated here. Way yonder over there, area 51. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that is supposedly going on here. That's a separate video, we're gonna do that later. But starting with nuclear testing and ending with potentially extraterrestrial technology. I don't know, man. Nevada's full of some crazy stories. So we have this area that's bigger than the size of Rhode Island, bigger than the size of New York City, that was available to nuclear testing and weapons development and aircraft development. While underground testing ended in 1992, we had still continuous testing listed as subcritical testing until the end of 2012. Thanks everybody. I appreciate everyone watching. Um, this has been the outskirts of the Nevada National Security Site. Thanks so much. If you wanna check out more videos like this, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. It absolutely helps the channel and We'll see you next time.